Hi guys, welcome back. So uh, this was like a just quick overview of the song Nerf Clip uh, by Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'll show you guys the song in a very easy way. So uh, we don't need a capo. We are in the start chaining. We'll have a quick look at the structure firstly. It starts off with the intro, which is same as the verse. So intro gets us to the verse. Intro and verse are the same thing. After that, we have the pre-chorus, which is a bit different. Then we have the chorus. And after that, we do have a bridge. Yes, we do have a bridge just after the first chorus. Then we have the next verse, next pre-chorus, next chorus, and uh, the outro. And that's the whole song. So starting off with the intro and the verse, which are pretty same. Throughout the whole song, I'll be just using power chords, so we don't have to learn any kind of power chords. But if you see uh, down in the uh, over here, if you see that uh, the text is showing a minor chord or a major chord, you don't have to worry about it. But if you still want to play, make sure you play. This is a major chord. This is a minor chord. So this is just basically a difference. Of and same for the other version. Right? So we won't be going into that right now. But the intro works like this. We have the E flat chord. It's basically 6th fret on the E string, 8th fret on the D string, and every other string made it. So 6th fret on A, 8th fret on D. Top E string made it, and every other string made it. I go for 2D and stroke like this, down, down, so. And then I go to the G5 chord, which is 3 on E, 5 on E. Every other string made it, so it's basically one string up. And then we do this. I go for 2D and stroke on the G5. Bring that shape 1 fret down, 1D and stroke on it, F sharp 5, 2, 4, then 1 fret down, 2D and stroke. So we have bum, bum, pause, da, da, bum. Bum, bum. So you gotta keep that counted. Bum, bum, tch. Bum, bum, tim, bum, bum. So we have ba, da, tch. Bum, bum, bim, bum, bum. E flat. G minor, G, uh, G minor, D flat, F, E flat. G minor, G flat, F, F. Um, then we move on to the pre-chorus got high on pink flamings it's basically a b uh five second fret on a fourth fret on d two dance stroke then you go to e which is seventh fret on a nine fret on d every other string made it gotta keep that in mind one dance stroke on e and one dance stroke on e flight so we have second down time the fourth time we go to the F sharp chord which is second fret on E fourth fret on A one dance stroke then we go to E over here which is open a second fret on the open E second fret on the A uh, these are the same but just octave apart so we have the whole uh, pre-chorus first part and now we have the second part second part is exactly same only the last line which was F sharp to a E it's supposed to be going from a B to a C sharp which is fourth fret on A sixth fret on D so I hope things are crystal clear because the song is super easy. One, two, three, four. Right, that's our pre-chorus. If you want to add, if you want to add a bit more uh, flavor, you can just add an octave, which is basically um, same fret as that of the string above it, and uh, it's basically just like um, the E string. If you if you say E string, go once, skip one string, which is the D string, and go two frets apart. So, so basically, it's just beside that fifth note. So this is a seven note, if I'm not wrong. I, I mean eighth note. So you get the octave. You just have to use another finger to play it. We'll move on to the chorus and it goes like this. It's basically an 8 line progression and uh, we have E flat 5, G sharp which is 4 on A, 6 on, 4 on E, 6 on A, F sharp, E. And after that we have E flat again, then uh, G sharp, then F sharp, then E. Right? 
So the same thing. Uh, I've just ma uh, made a mistake. It's just basically uh, the same chord progression. So we got one, two, three, four. basically E flat uh, it's basically pretty same as that of the intro verse so we'll do the same thing E flat uh, G, so uh, we have the bridge it's basically a bit different we have E flat then G F sharp F I like to go for two dance in every chord ignore this like buzzing sound I don't know why it's coming I think it's because of the uh, pickup which is loose I think I need to fix it never mind we got E flat G F sharp F uh, we do it thrice and the last time we basically play a E flat we go to a A fifth fret on E seventh fret on A now we have the next verse same thing next pre chorus same next chorus same we got an outro which is uh, pretty same to that of uh, the chorus. So it would be E flat, G sharp, F sharp, E. And that's the whole song. I hope the video helps you out. Let me know what other song you want to learn. Do subscribe. It means a lot. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.